Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Brothers and sisters, welcome back to Ask Muslim. Today is an important question You're in love with Mr. or Mrs. Wright But they're not in love with you So what do you do? How do you deal with that? Imagine if you're engaged and you're trying to deal with all of those things With your potential spouse But they on the other hand are just not interested Or things are just not working out So how do you, what do you do from that point forward? First thing brothers and sisters as you want to understand Is the foundation of how to deal with these kind of problems and that is Allah Azza wa Jal is in control of everything. In the Quran, in Surah Turum, verse number 21, Allah Azza wa Jal clearly starts off the verse by saying that it's from the signs that Allah Azza wa Jal has created spouses for you. And then it continues, وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةِ وَرَحْمَةِ Allah Azza wa Jal places between you love and mercy. Now listen to the verse very carefully. Allah says that I am the one that places that mercy and love between you. It's not something that you're going to do on your own. It's not something that based on your effort, based on everything that you do to try to impress that person to make the relationship work. Allah is clearly telling us no matter what you do, I'm the one that's in control. So you may want it so bad, but at the end of the day, if Allah hasn't given it to you or hasn't written it down for you, you're just simply not going to have it. So that's the first thing is to understand understand that Allah Azza wa is always in control of the relationship. Number two, a lot of people when they get caught up into this kind of a relationship or the engagement time, they get caught up with uh, you know, things that you're going to miss out with that person. I mean, they look like the perfect Muslim. They look like they have all the qualities that you're looking for in your life. But there's only one thing. It's just simply not working out. Well, what I want to say, inshallah, for a person who probably is dealing with that is maybe you want to stay away from focusing on what you're missing out and focus on what Allah Azza wa Jal may be protecting you from. Because you don't know that if you do get married to that person, that once you start living with them and you start living life together, they may not be the person that you expected them to be. Or that engagement lifestyle is very different from the marriage lifestyle. So perhaps Allah Azza wa Jal might be protecting you from something that you yourself can't see or can't understand. I can tell you there are so many cases that I've dealt with in my life where two people got married as a happy happy couple, a couple, but during the marriage, it just turned into an all-out war between each other. They started hating each other, fighting with each other, and things just went downhill, and subhanAllah, eventually end up in a divorce. So that's the second thing that you might want to think about. Third thing when it comes to dealing with this kind of situation, is to also understand that you might be putting forth each and every single effort to make things work but that person may not be doing that towards you what that could be telling you is they're simply not interested and you need to get out of that bubble of emotion and love and connection with that person and look at them as a human being and know the reality that look this person is just not interested and perhaps Allah Azza wa Jal may change or replace that individual with somebody better for you so be positive be optimistic Hope for the best inshallah. If it doesn't work out with that person, then hopefully inshallah it'll work out better with somebody else. You just never know that you might be living in North America or in Europe, but your future spouse can be in the middle of China somewhere, or can might be in the middle of some other island or country somewhere in the world, and Allah will take both of your hearts and attach it to each other. That is one of the most beautiful aspects of marriage. So I hope that inshallah, no matter how the relationship goes, at least this video would bring some hope to you and to your hearts. May Allah Azza wa Jal make it easy for all of you guys. Wassalamu alaikum wa